On this year's Power Day, NEO gave us an update of their current charging and swapping infrastructure. NEO also announced a new feature and gave updates on the infrastructure in Europe. The biggest announcement has been the new flexibility for swapping. NEO Battery as a service owners currently were able to upgrade their 75 kilowatt hour battery to a 100 kilowatt hour battery and back on a yearly or a monthly basis. Now this also can be done on a daily basis by paying $7 a day. For the monthly upgrade the price is $122 and for the yearly upgrade $1364. NEO says that prior to the flexible upgrade program, half of the users chose the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack and the other half chose the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. After NEO started the flexibility program, 90% of the users chose the smaller battery pack and that it would reduce raw materials needed for batteries by 17%. To date, already 80,000 battery upgrades have been provided to NEO users. Alongside the new flexibility program, NEO also unveiled a new 20 kW vehicle-to-grid home charger that allows the vehicles to charge the grid. NEO is the first car company connecting virtual power plants. 1,012 battery swap stations are already involved in grid load shifting. Currently, 60% of the power for NEO vehicles comes from the battery swap stations with a throughout rising tendency. For Europe, the first third-generation swap stations are expected to be in service in August, and NEO expects the amount of swap stations to reach 50 by the end of 2023. NEO also started deploying its 500 kW ultra-fast chargers by adding 500 of them in the first 100 days. To date, NEO currently has 1,564 active battery swap stations, 1,509 supercharging stations with 7,394 superchargers in China. NEO expects that next week that the power swap station count will exceed 1,600 units. For the NEO home chargers, there are currently 197,596 chargers installed for users.